three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My name is Diego and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the song uh, Don't Stop Believing. This is our third video in this series. Check the description for the other parts and in this one I'm going to show you how to put the hands together for the intro. This is a very specific technique. It's a technique that I show to my students. It is time consuming and a little bit tough but it's super useful to learn how to do this because you can do this for a lot of different songs that are challenging. Now, it is important that you do follow directions because I have a lot of students that when I tell them about this technique, they kind of like do it halfway and halfway, unfortunately, it does not work. So let's go there to a close up. What we're trying to do is counting out loud while you're playing. And in this case, I want to ask you to count to eight. I want you to play the right hand with the first, let's say, group of uh, four different uh, chords and try to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, a couple of things that don't work. You cannot count in your mind. For whatever reason, I'm not a neuroscientist. I don't know why, but it works 10 times better if you actually say the numbers out loud. So don't count in your mind, count out loud so someone can hear you if they're in the room with you. And the other thing is to count even. It doesn't work if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. It makes it very messy and it then makes it very not productive. Now, once you can count, I want to have you play it in almost little chunks, putting it together with two hands. The left hand, you're going to press and hold the first note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my th next three notes, the F sharp, G sharp, and B, go when I say six, seven, eight. And it's very important to do this pretty slowly at the beginning to get it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now the good news is that a lot of the notes that I'm playing on the left hand land in the same place. Uh, there's a couple differences I'll show you, but for the most part they're all six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the good news is that if you practice it counting out loud very slowly, you can should be able to like stitch it together. Once again, very slowly. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you get the idea. Now, why is this important and why can't I just wing it? Because people that wing it, sometimes they certain notes can move and certain notes may go before or after. And the problem with that is that it's almost like once you ingrain it, once you practice it a lot the wrong way, it takes a lot of work to fix it. So if you count it, you're going to be able to almost become your own teacher, become your own metronome and assemble it correctly. And once it's assembled correctly, it's fairly easy to speed it up. The problem with things that are assembled incorrectly is that sometimes they never actually get to be perfected. They keep on having little problems. And I think I try to learn things the best that I can. And I think it's something hopefully that you will almost see pride in trying to play music the best to your abilities. We don't play perfectly. Maybe there are things kind of like missing, but what's important is to try your best to truly do, I don't know, really get the material down. So let's talk about the next part. The next part has a little bit of a change. So I'll show you what that is. So let me move my paper here. So the first thing is the same. The first, the next block is very similar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there, of course, I changed to the G sharp. So I go eight, eight, two, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here that G sharp and the A on my left hand land actually on seven, eight. So I don't have a six there. Uh, and after that, I'm gonna have something similar when I'm gonna go six, seven on this six, seven. So it's almost like a couple of little variations. I'll play that second part so you guys can see it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 
it is super important to practice slowly. This renders really good results. You just have to be patient because it does take a while. But believe me, and hopefully you do trust that in the sense of really moving forward, sometimes counting is the only way. So there are certain things that you can almost wing it and just hear it a couple times in the recording. But sometimes when things are intricate between the hands, you do have to count out loud. And I like this technique of counting to eight because it allows you to have a little bit more syllables to be able to match things and be like, okay, that note goes on six and this note goes on eight. So hopefully that was uh, easy to follow along. I really want to hope that you are successful at playing this. We're going to keep on making more videos to cover the whole thing for the whole song. But if you want more information about what we do here at The Hit, check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.